Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Minecraft video before you all today. Today, guys, we have a really useful tutorial for how you can make a diff scoreboard in Minecraft using the commands. So if you guys are interested in how to use this awesome command to make a nice little diff scoreboard in Minecraft, be sure you stay right here because we're going to be showing you all how to now. So let's get started yeah one like equals one li uh, liquid cheese um bath for everyone yeah So what we're first going to actually do right now is we're actually going to quickly show you how this all works. So you can guys can get a quick little idea of what we're trying to do and then we'll show you guys how to actually do. And as you can see, it's a little bit, um, it, it quite, requires a little bit of redstone and uh, command block knowledge, but nothing too difficult that you guys can't follow with a simple tutorial. Anyway, what we're first going to quickly do is we're just going to switch on these two command blocks right here. And as you can see, a little thing popped on our top right corner. Uh, uh, right corner that says deaths now basically that is a scoreboard that counts the deaths that we get so for example if scooby right here falls down a hole you will see that he says he has one death now if we were to get somebody like this guy over here and also have a death if he were to jump and die in there you will see that then it will say he even has a death now if i were to jump into this magma cheese over here this hot cheese you will oh wait i'm in creative let me fix that, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, yo, so I'm in survival. So if I jump into this magma cheese, you will see that it now even says that I have a death. And basically, all this does is it counts every single death on a scoreboard. So if you were doing mini games or PvP, this would be really handy for your um, fun time. So anyway, now say for instance you would actually like to get rid of the uh, death scoreboard. What you would just uh, type this. You could type this in your chat, whatever's in this command block, or you can just simply, you know, flip the switch, and that counts for all these three command blocks right here. Anything that's in them, you could just type it into your chat, or you could put them in the command block so you don't have to do it in the future. Whatever, it's your choice. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly reset it, and as you can see, this death scoreboard is now gone and resetted. Now you're probably wondering guys, how do I do this? Well, we're going to show you how now. So the first thing you can actually do is you can copy all three of these command blocks exactly um, how they are right now. Now of course you could just type this in your chat like we said earlier, but we recommend if you have the extra command blocks, might as well just uh, place their own command blocks for them. But of course, if you don't want to, you can just type it in the chat. So basically right here, you can just copy these commands exactly. Make sure the, the blocks are the exact same and just, you know, copy everything that you see at the moment so yeah we go to the last command block and basically just copy everything there chuck some switches or levers on them and there you go now in this first command block over here where it says deaths you can actually change it to any name so you can even say it to uh, you can change it to births if you want to or you can say, change it to um wins or, or whatever you want but uh, we're just using deaths because it's the more standard one that you find but yeah where, where it says deaths you can you can change it to any name you want such as lives lost and things like that now of course if you do change the name in yeah so you change nefs de uh, deaths to lives lost you're gonna have to go to all the command blocks and change the thing that says deaths to lives lost and that also counts for the last one change deaths to lives lost or you can just use deaths or you can change it to whatever you name you want it's completely up to you now those um the name that you use over there is actually also going to count for all these command blocks over there so remember that so if you're working with death over here then be sure you're working with deaths over here. So now, as you can see over here, we actually have rows of uh, repeaters and command blocks. And basically, every player that you intend to have in your mini game or your PvP match or whatever you want, you need to have one row of these. So basically, it is two command blocks, a couple of repeaters, a redstone torch, and basically that is set for one person. So for example, say you have three players in your world, and you're basically going to make three rows of these things right here. So then what you're actually going to need to do is go into the command blocks. Now basically, these command blocks are all similar except the only difference is you are going to change the name of whoever you uh, whoever is in your world so for example right here in this world we have three people it's me mpl summer mpl summer rex and mpl summer scooby so we have a row for each of us now basically what we do is we just say slash test for at e brackets name equals then whatever of the person's name is in the world so of course we've done this for each of us as you can see over here and there you go 
So of course just make sure they are all on repeat, unconditional and always active and then basically what you do is you just follow the redstone. So as you can see we have repeaters set to this position right here. So actually we got comparators right here. There we got a repeater right over here. Then we have a blocker right. So we got three blocks here. You can use whatever you want. You can use dirt, you can use diamond, you can use gold, you can use... You can even use gravel for all you want. As long as it's not redstone, it will work. So you can use legitimately any block. We're just going to use diamond because we're, you know, we're, we're rich in the Minecraft world. Okay, well, not really, but we just chose diamond blocks. You could even use wood logs, whatever you want. Then basically, you just put a redstone torch on the back of them just like that. And then you make three repeaters like this. Of course, you can have more rows. You can have like a hundred. You can have like just two. You can have one. It's up to you. We're just using three because there's three of us on this world. Then you go to the last command blocks over here. Then anyway, you just place three command blocks over here and, and then you type in the command. So then basically what you do is say slash scoreboard players add. Then you can put the name of whatever person you want to write. So you can even put the, the same name uh, like over here. So say over here I named it MPR Simmer. You could say over here, um, add MKR Cinema, or you could actually give him a, a different nickname, something. It doesn't matter what uh, nickname you put over there, as long as this name is the exact of the player that you intend uh, for the deaths to count be counted for. So over here, we're just going to leave it MKR Cinema for this case. However, if you wanted to um, name your person something different, you can, as long as those command blocks are use the actual player's name. So we're actually going to go change Scooby right here. So as you can see, this is MKR Cinema Scooby. So currently we have him just as MKR Cinema Scooby. We're actually going to change that, okay? We're going to change him to MKR Cinema Scooby. A noob, okay, because he's a noob. So there you go. As you can see, we've given a nickname in Kiosama Scooby Noob. So that is set. Now, if he were to die, guys, you would actually see an if we um, turn on the uh, command blocks quickly. So anyway, we flick them down. We turn them on. Now, if Scooby were to die, you will see that his nickname is going to be in Kiosama Scooby Noob. So, of course... You could just leave it as the player's name, or you can give them a nickname, you can name them Turd, you can name them Lifesaver, you can name them Superman, you know, just just go wild. And basically, we've done that for every person's name, alright, so you can just, just do it like that, so it's basically all the same. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, as simple as that. So, legitimately, you can have a deaf scoreboard counter, or whatever type of scoreboard counter you want, you can use whatever name you want. It's just a really cool that they've added into Minecraft, and I'm sure it's going to be awesome for mini games in PvP. But that is basically it, guys. That is how you can use this whole scoreboard mechanic. We hope you did enjoy this video. If you learned something new, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And that being said, from us to you, we'll see you next time. Peace out.